Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. It's Friday, December 4th in New York City. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com daily. And now, here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. European low-cost carrier Ryanair placed an order for 75 Boeing 737 MAX aircraft, a signal of faith in the jet despite its remaining grounded in Europe. The order and its size is the first major deal for the aircraft since it was grounded worldwide more than 20 months ago in the wake of two fatal accidents that claimed more than 300 lives. The news follows the first public flight of the B-737 MAX in the U.S. on Wednesday, as well as the recertification of the aircraft last week by regulators in Europe and Brazil, writes Airline Weekly editor Madhu Anikrishnan. Financial terms of the deal were not disclosed, but Boeing is thought to have offered Ryanair a steep discount on the jet. Cancellations for MAX orders accelerated after the COVID pandemic hobbled the global airline industry. Ryanair had 135 orders for the jet outstanding, and Thursday's order brings its total to 210 orders for the jet. Boeing reports a years-long backlog for the jet and has continued building it after the grounding, albeit at a lower rate. The airframer has more than 400 that have been built but were not delivered. Deliveries to Ryanair will resume next year. It remains unclear if any of the new jets will be whitetails or aircraft orders cancelled by other airlines. Next, Marriott leaders have downplayed the size of the company's luxury short-term rental brand Homes & Villas since its launch last year. But nearly 20 months since its debut, Homes & Villas is no longer just a tiny short-term rental platform at a time when the Airbnb IPO is drawing more attention to the sector. It's growing very quickly at Marriott, writes hospitality reporter Cameron Spearns. Homes & Villas debuted with roughly 2,000 home listings in 100 destinations. Today, the brand has more than 16,000 listings in nearly 250 destinations. More than 4,000 listings were added since just October. Homes and villas may have grown by eight times its launch size in less than two years, but company leaders in the past have been quick to point out its smaller scale relative to traditional Marriott revenue streams. Marriott CEO Arnie Sorensen called the brand a very small part of our business on an earnings call earlier this year. Finally, for Skift's At Your Service monthly feature on the coolest jobs in travel, U.S. Park Ranger Shelton Johnson is front and center. Johnson, who works in Yosemite National Park as a community engagement specialist, helps introduce visitors to the park's natural and cultural history and is an activist in getting culturally diverse communities into the outdoors. As the travel industry grapples with the role of race and exclusion in the wilderness, Johnson's novel views on Sierra Club founder John Muir, as well as the connection between the civil rights and national park movements, give a fuller picture of the complete idea of freedom and what it means to have an inheritance for all of us in the U.S. national parks, writes contributor Jill Robinson for a story that first appeared in the State Cider newsletter. For more travel stories, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skiff Daily newsletter at skiff.com slash daily. Hey, Skiff listeners. Hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.